Okay, let's look at this. So what is a work object? And this is straight out of the robot manual, free download. Um, basically when we make a work object, it enables a coordinate system and it attaches it to whatever we define. We can attach a coordinate system to this box. Okay, it makes our programming easier. We're programming to the box instead of the whole world when we do this. And if for some unknown reason the robot gets moved, we only have to teach it where the object is. We don't have to reprogram the entire world. Okay. Um, it's also if you were jogging on something mounted vertically and it would simplify the jogging procedure if you were trying to move across that part. So, let's create a work object. From the ABB menu, we're going to go to Program Data, View Data Types, WOBJ Data Work Object. We're going to show the data. Once we get the work object data open, we're going to make a new one. Notice that we have work object zero. By default, it always creates that. We're not going to mess with that. We're going to make our own. We're going to make a new one. Same thing as when you were creating the pin. We're going to give it a name. We're going to click the ellipses button, the three little dots. And I'm going to do mine cap, so I'm going to call it graph. Maybe. And we'll just call it paper. Let's call it the paper. hit OK, we're going to make it to the paper. We're going to leave the scope alone. That's where it's used. We're going to leave it on task. And we're going to click OK. Now notice that it shows our work object is paper. Okay. So I'll skip ahead after I've already draw, draw, drawn my work object on some graph paper okay now it's kind of hard to see I know on the camera but this is graph paper when you're doing this in class you'll see and if I'm not mistaken we'll figure it out but there's a set distance between the I think it's five millimeters or maybe it's ten but we're gonna we're gonna check that so we have a work object here now I'm on my program data where I created my paper work object earlier. Okay, we're going to define it. This blue section right here, we're going to call that our work object. Notice that work object could be all the way up here, could be turned, it could be sideways. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to define three points on this. 
which will tell us zero for this work object and we will reference all our other program points from here or our rob targets when we do our programming so let's go to work object paper let's do the edit command so tap the paper work object and we're going to hit define we want to bring up our configuration so we can define this now my robot is in linear mode and I've already got my tooltip pretty close to the paper and moved out of the way so this will take you longer than it does me because I, I put it on pause while I was doing this so I'm going to do an object method of three points x1 x2 and y1 notice they are labeled x1 x2 y1 they're actually little dots right here little dot right there little dot right there um, make them a little bigger maybe we'll be able to see them Let's make it a little bit bigger not much bigger let's put a dash right there so you can see it so I'll move little dots yeah so we're going to select three points notice it's labeled X1, X2 and Y1 I'm going to tap on the X1 now I'm going to jog my robot in a linear fashion because that's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to bring him over here. I'm going to bring him close to... Now this only works when you have your tool defined. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. okay so that's my x1 point and I'm going to tap the modify position I will repeat with x2 and y1 notice I'm jogging in a linear fashion in relation to the world my paper is just a little bit off okay it's not actually see when I try to jog linear You'll see that my paper is just slightly off from the world and it goes at an angle. So we're going to come over here. We're going to define that point right there. Somewhere there. Close enough. Hit modify position. And we're going to come back over here to Y1. reach the limits on the robot now I pick specific points to, to show you on here but realize all we're trying to do is we're trying to find an edge and orientation okay so this work object notice the arrow extends out we're actually trying to find that corner and the angles okay so even though I've drawn a work object here it could be much larger okay all we're trying to do is find the edge and direction okay so once I've modified my Y2 hit OK now it pops up with a little window that you want to save these points for later. Um, I'm going to choose no because it, it junks up my rob targets. It's not necessary, but it will make rob targets on them if you don't. And then we're going to hit OK. Now when we go to the jogging window, go to the jogging window I'm going to change my coordinate system 
going to change it from the world to my work object. Here I go, I'm going to select a work object. I'm going to make sure my work object one or paper is selected. And so now I'm going to watch my targets. Right now I am on uh, Y1, okay, which shows I'm 149.9 millimeters from the origin. On the X, remember X is anywhere up here, I'm already at zero. Z, I'm at zero because I've defined a flat surface, okay. If I come back over here and I go back, Remember, we didn't define the origin, but if I go back to the intersection, I should be pretty much, well, it's really hard to get that close, but we're pretty much at zero right there. Really close. Notice when I jog, So notice as we jog with our work object selected paper, we're going to move in a straight line in relation to the points we taught. Okay. And if I was to look right here, and I'm going to go back to my graph, I can actually measure that my X position is approximately 25 millimeters off from my origin, which is back here. If I go back to the origin, notice, oops, come right back here. Somewhere about in there. So, I can already tell you then, I was wrong about the squares. They are 25 millimeter by 25 millimeter, pretty much. And so I, I can jog. If, if I move in relation to the work object, 50 milli millimeters, I should move two squares. Okay, I'm going to move my X position up. And that should have put me on X1, basically. So I'm going to move up about 50 milli millimeters. Real slow. And that is pretty close. I am pretty much right on X1 right now. So, you're going to ask, well, what's the point of a work object? Well, oh no, somebody moved my work object. What do I do? Well, if I had a bunch of points taught to the world, I would be in trouble. However, I can go back to my program data and go to paper, edit, and we're going to redefine this work object. I'm going to change my jogging back to the world. Because it's easier for me to move. In relation to the robot. I'm going to select the three point method. Then we're going to go back and teach X1, X2, and Y1 once again. So we come back over here. 
and begin to reteach. Okay, movie magic. I've retaught my three points with my crooked work object. Notice it is different. Now, when I jog, notice I jog at an angle. My coordinate system is work object. I've retaught the points. It knows where it's at now. And if I program all my Rob targets to a work object, which you should always do and always name, it will save me a lot of headache in the future.